from Shenandoah, from Page County, from KMA Land. This is KMA News Headlines. Good afternoon, I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Wednesday afternoon. Shenandoah Mayor Roger McQueen says the new National Guard Armory would make a welcome addition to the city's recreation facilities. By a 4 to nothing vote at a trigger the meeting Tuesday evening, the Shenandoah City Council approved purchase and memorandum agreements between the city and the state of Iowa regarding the facility and West Ferguson Road. Back in June, Iowa National Guard officials announced the Armory's imminent closing and the relocation of Bravo Company, 1st Battalion, 168th Infantry, to its new West Des Moines Armory next year. Now, speaking on KMA's Morning Line program Wednesday morning, McQueen says negotiations between the city and state on the building's acquisition commence shortly after the Guard's announcement. We uh, have that building, uh, you know, if we could use it, and uh, they, they wanted it to com- continue to be a, a, a part of the Shenandoah somehow, and so uh, that's kind of when it started. And then when it got down to the brass tacks here in the last uh, probably month to five weeks ago is when they actually uh, came back and said, okay, we're ready to to accept bids and so forth. Preliminary plans call for the Shenandoah Park and Recreation Department to use the facility for practice space and other activities. The Armory will also remain the Wabash Arts Camp permanent home. McQueen says the city will incur expenses in the building's upkeep. McQueen, however, says the city will continue utilizing the old Armory facility downtown. Now, McQueen says the sale of the building is contingent upon the state armory board and Governor Kim Reynolds' approval, but McQueen says he doesn't foresee any complications with the property transfer. You can hear the full interview with Mayor Roger McQueen with the web story at kmaland.com as well as on our Morning Line page. In other news, a local Chevy dealership is now under new ownership. Officials with Wild Rose Chevrolet, led by CEO and dealer principal Adrian Gaddis of College Station, Texas, announced today the acquisition of Doug Meyer Chevrolet in Shenandoah. While the dealership will be under new ownership, officials say Wild Rose Chevrolet plans to retain all current employees, ensuring continuity for customers and staff, adding the dealership will be locally managed by Shenandoah resident T.J. Young. Pottawatomie County officials are taking steps to secure federal funds for future road safety projects. By unanimous vote Tuesday morning, the Pottawatomie County Board of Supervisors approved the Safe Streets for All Grant Safety Pledge with a goal of zero traffic fatalities in the county by the year 2050. Pottawatomie County Engineer John Rasmussen says the pledge is in conjunction with a safety plan required for the National Priority Safety Program, which provides grant funding to address selected national priorities for reducing highway deaths and injuries. The program is part of the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act enacted by the Biden administration in November 2021. And one of KMA's longest-running Yuletide traditions shines again in Montgomery County. The the Baird Christmas Lights display at 1233 E Avenue, northwest of Red Oak, are turned on for another holiday season Saturday. Chris Baird is among the family members helping continue the tradition and is one of the sons of the display's creator, Jack Baird, who passed away in December of 2022 after nearly 50 years of assembling the display. Speaking on the morning show today, Chris says they've been working in for the past couple of months erecting the display and carrying on his father's light display legacy. Well, after Saturday, residents can view the lights nightly from 5 to 10 p.m., through Wednesday, January 1st. A free will donation will be next to the mailbox of the driveway for those wishing to contribute. KMA on track weather is sunny today with highs in the upper 50s. Tonight, increasing clouds, lows in the mid-teens. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. For KMA News, I'm Mike Peterson. So long, my friend.